guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be talking about the best beauty products of this year, 2010. I also just did a crappy products video, so if you're interested in seeing the worst products of the year, I'll put the link down below. Um, but this is my absolute favorite things. Of course, this isn't everything I was loving this year. This is just um, the basics. These are products that I'm still using today. Uh, so I'm just going to share them all with you, and I hope you guys enjoy. With the best makeup brushes of the year, and I just recently received these. I believe it was in October or November, and they are from Sigma, and they are the Sigmax High Definition Brushes. And they sent me um, the Face Edition, the three face brushes. It's the F80, the F84, and the F82. And these are absolutely the best brushes. I think that they far um, surpass the Sigma Professional Brush Kit. I think if you're going to order from Sigma, I would get these three brushes. Um, they just give you such a flawless finish. They're really, really soft, much softer than the Professional Line brushes. They're very dense, really, really nice. They pack on color nicely, and so I love these three brushes. I've been using them nonstop. I love them. The best foundation that I found this year, 2010, is by Mayron, and it's the Mayron Celebre Pro HD, and I have it in the color light, and it's a cream foundation. You can only find this at mayron.com, so I'll put the link down below if anyone's interested, but um, I just recently used this in my dewy, glowy um, foundation routine video. I use this layered over my L'Oreal True Match. I absolutely love it. It is definitely full coverage. It's the most coverage I've ever gotten from a foundation. And I just don't know what I did before this. I'm like seriously obsessed with it. So I definitely recommend Mayron Celebra Pro HD Foundation. The best bronzer that I used this year is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder. And it has real cocoa. So when you put it on your face, it literally, you smell like chocolate. It's so fabulous. Um, this one's a duo because I received this with my Boudoir Beauty Bag. So it has the By Candlelight next to it. But... I absolutely love this Chocolate Soleil here on this side. It's so nice, it's great for contour, and I've been using it nonstop. So I think this is definitely the best bronzer. My favorite highlighter this year is by Hard Candy, one of my favorite new brands, and this is available at Walmart. And this is their So Baked Bronzer in the color Tiki. It's, as you can see, it's really light, way too light to be a bronzer for me, so I do use it as a highlight. And if you want to see how I use this, you can check out my Glowy Dewy Foundation Routine video. This is absolutely like my favorite ever. I think it's comparable to some of MAC's MSFs, and I just really love it. It gives me a super nice sheen and shimmer, so love, love, love their bronzers. The best makeup remover that I tried this year is Mary Kay's Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. And it's pink, it comes in a big bottle like this, and this is enough to last you a lifetime because a little bit of this stuff goes a really, really long way. So if you buy one of these, you're pretty much set for the year. Um, it is a little bit greasy, but I think that it kind of takes a little bit of that um, oil to remove your eye makeup, and you can wash it right off. So it's super moisturizing. It's really, really great. It takes off all my mascara, all my eyeliner and eyeshadow. So I love this Mary Kay Eye Makeup Remover Moisturizer, and it's the Olay Complete All Day UV Moisturizer, and I just have it in the one for normal skin. This moisturizer has been my saving grace because I can get a little bit dry in the winter, but I also tend to have just generally very oily, um, sensitive skin. This moisturizer I've ever used that really moisturizes my face, but doesn't cause me to have any kind of breakout. So I absolutely love this Olay Complete. I definitely recommend it. My favorite powder for this year is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and this is the Brightening Gold. This is their um, new packaging. I don't know if this is limited edition. I believe it is. It comes with um, this and a Kabuki, and it has quite a bit of powder in it, so this should last you a long time. Um, I also use this in my foundation routine video. I just think it's really shimmery and nice. It gives a really nice glow. It also adds a tiny little bit of color, and it really mattifies my um, cream foundation, so I love Bare Minerals um, New Mineral Veil. So my favorite concealers this year, I had so many, I sort of like interchanged between them every month that seemed like I had a new favorite, but there were two that I stuck with, and so I'm just going to show you guys those. One I prefer for under eyes, and one I prefer for um, problem areas, blemishes, that sort of thing. Um, my first favorite is by IT Cosmetics, and it's the Bye Bye Under Eye, and I prefer this for the under eye, obviously. Um, it's extremely moisturizing, it can be a little bit 
um, greasy. It gives you a really um, sheen under your eye, but it is so moisturizing, which is perfect for my eyes. And I don't have any kind of problem with like breakouts or any kind of reaction to it. It doesn't crease at all, which is my number one concern with concealers. So I love Bye Bye Under Eye. I adore it. And this is a huge tube. It doesn't look like it's too much, but it takes you forever to go through one of these. So I love this for under eye darkness. Um, my second favorite concealer is for problem areas, blemishes, discoloration. It's great for that. It is definitely full coverage. This is a heavy duty concealer and it's the Hard Candy Glamouflage. And this is available through Hard Candy at Walmart. And I have it in the color light. And this is the most full coverage concealer I've ever tried. I mean, you can cover up tattoos with this stuff and it really works. Um, so I definitely recommend this if you're wanting a full coverage concealer. This does tend to crease a little bit underneath my eyes, which is why I don't recommend it for under eyes. Um, but if you don't have any kind of fine lines under your eyes, then this might work for you under your eyes as well. It's definitely very brightening, so love Glamouflage. I had three all-time favorite blushes for this year, and the first one is the e.l.f. Studio Blush. I love the e.l.f. Studio line. I think it's really great. I don't like the e.l.f. Dollar line at all. I despise it. I've thrown everything out that I purchased from the Dollar line. But the Studio line blushes, I just can't get over how nice they are. So this one is in Fuchsia Fusion. This is my favorite. It's a really hot pink with um, like a silver glitter in it. I love it. It's so gorgeous. It's almost reminiscent of NYX Pinky, but it has that shimmer in there, so you know I had to get this. Um, I have a few other colors in the Elf Studio line, and I love them all. Very pigmented, gorgeous, so I definitely recommend the Studio Blushes. My next favorite blush for this year is a Mary Kay Mineral Cheek Color, and it's in the color Strawberry Cream. And this is just the best pink ever. I can't even tell you guys how perfect it is. I love it. This is like more of a corally pink, and it has a really nice gold shimmer in it. So that's what that looks like. It is just such a nice warm pink. I definitely recommend this color. The last favorite blush for this year I just recently received from my friend Jessica Lee. But I can already tell you I'm going to use this blush for life. I've only had it a couple weeks and I am totally, totally smitten. I've never had such a highly pigmented, really nice soft blush before. And I can't get over how nice the packaging is. So this is a Rockin' Republic blush. Look how snazzy that is. It's really, really nice. And this is the color Tease, and it's their Contrived Pressed Blush. And this is more, it looks cool tone in the compact. It sort of looks like a purpley pink, but when you get it on your skin, it's just a really nice feminine pink. It almost reminds me of one of the MAC Hello Kitty colors. I adore it. It's definitely a matte color. I just, I love it, you guys. I can't get enough of it. Um, I think she got this off of the Hope Look sale, and so if they ever have these again, I would definitely jump on this. I know I'm going to because these Rockin' Republic blushes, they are rockin'. So this is the one in T's. This is my all-time favorite right now. So next I have a few lip colors, and three of them are the same type. They're the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses, and I totally hoard these out on my channel this summer. I can't even lie. I hoard the hell out of these lip glosses. Um, I talked about them constantly. I was absolutely obsessed with them. They were the three spring shades, and now they're all part of the permanent collection, so you can buy them year-round, which is really exciting. And um, these are the three that are my favorite. This one is in the permanent collection. This isn't from the spring, but these two on the ends both are. And the first one is Coral Reef. You guys know I was absolutely obsessed with this one this summer. I think it's great. These are kind of syrupy. They're a little bit thick and sticky, but the color pigmentation is like another. other. You can't get any more color from a lip gloss than these. Um, my second favorite is the Pink Pop. It's the brightest Barbie pink you've ever seen. I love it. And then for fall and winter, I absolutely adore Cherries in the Glow. And this is just a really nice matte red color. And it's not like crazy red. It's a really nice um, toned down red. So I love these. They're great lip glosses. Then I have my two favorite lipsticks. One is the best red lipstick of the year for 2010. And it is from Senna Cosmetics. And this was from their virtual vintage collection that they released in the fall. And it is Valentina. This is the most beautiful, it is like a blue-toned red, so it looks great on everyone. It's very flattering. It's like almost like the perfect vintage red lip. I can't get over how nice it is. So this is Valentina by Senna. Definitely the best red lipstick I tried this year. And then my favorite drugstore brand lipstick is a NYX lipstick, and it is in the color Paris. And this is my absolute favorite. I've gone through so many tubes of Paris, and it is just the perfect, perfect pink. I love Paris. Gorgeous. 
Now I'm going to move on to my favorite eye products um, for 2010, and the first two are eyeliners. And this is the L'Oreal Intense Eyeliner, and it is in Black Mica. And this is just the best eyeliner ever. It goes on with this little felt tip. I can't get over how well it glides on and it stays all day long. Even for me, I'm really bad at applying eyeliner. I can admit I am not a pro at it. And this makes it really, really easy for me. So again, this is L'Oreal Intense and I adore it. I think it's a really awesome eyeliner. My second favorite is a little bit cheaper and it is the NYX Super Fat Eye Marker in Carbon Black. And it literally is just a super fat marker. It has a really fine tip, as you can see. And this stuff goes on super easy because it's super chunky, so you can just sort of draw on your eye with it. And this is long-lasting. This stays all day. So if you're a beginner with eyeliner, I would definitely recommend this because this is really easy to use, almost like a cold pencil would be. So love that. My next favorite beauty buy for eyes for 2010 is from Mary Kay, and it is their brow gel. And I had never really used a brow gel. Um, I used one when I was younger. It was from CoverGirl, and it made my eyebrows get these flaky white things in them. So I was like, I swore it off. But this is the best brow gel ever, and you can tell I use it. Um, but this keeps my brows in place all day long. It doesn't have any kind of, like, flaking or anything like that. So I love Mary Kay's brow gel. It's really nice. And on to eyeshadows. Of course, you guys know I had to include the number one product, I think, of the entire year, the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I saw these also the last time I was there, so I know they're restocking, which is really, really exciting because I know a lot of people couldn't get their hands on these. But these are definitely my all-time favorite eyeshadows. I mean, they're just beautiful and perfect. And the um, eyeliners that come with the palette is really nice as well. So I know you guys have seen this a million times, but this is the Naked Palette. I used these pretty much constantly after getting this palette. I love all the colors. I'm a super big um, neutral fan. So this was like my dream palette. I absolutely loved it. I think it's really nice. It's fuzzy. So I think everybody should have the Naked palette. It's a staple. It's a must-have. It was one of my best beauty buys of 2010. Drugstore best eyeshadows are definitely the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palettes, and I know a lot of you guys have seen these as well. This one is a limited edition holiday palette, and this one is their regular um, color icon, and this one is in Vanity, and this one is in Golden Goddess. And you can tell that they're very similar, but like I said, I'm a sucker for neutrals. I love bronzes and golds and like champagnes and browns. So these are my two favorite color icon palettes. I just got this one from Leopard Girl 8282, so thank you. And um, I just love these. I've been using the heck out of the Golden Goddess Holiday Palette. I just think that they're super pigmented, and they are comparable to the Naked Palette, I would say. If you can't afford it or if you can't find it, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these Wet n Wild Color Icon Palettes because I think they're just as nice. They're very pigmented and shimmery. You can see. Gorgeous. So I definitely love these this year. All of them are really, really fabulous. So my favorite nail polishes of 2010, um, three of them are Rimmel. I absolutely love the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro nail polishes. I have them in Purple Rain, Lava Red, and Steel Gray. Steel Gray was huge this year because it was a dupe for Max Metro Chic. But this is the three. They are absolutely my favorite. They go on so nice. They last all day. They're not going to chip on you. So I love these. Definitely they are great dupes for higher end nail polishes. I think they're really, really nice. So these were my three favorites. And I also love my new Orly nail lacquer. This is the first Orly I've ever owned and it's in the color Rage. I love it for fall and winter. So I had to put it in my best of 2010 because it's like a gorgeous rose gold color. It's like a champagne. And this didn't chip on me either, so love this. I'm definitely going to have to buy more Orly. And then my, um, my favorite nail polish that I used for most of the summer and spring were the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polishes. And I have these in like every color of the rainbow. This one is in Lively Lilac. And these just dry so fast and they stay on a really long time. They are really easy to apply, and so for drugstore nail polishes, these are fabulous. And moving on to skin products, um, my favorite self-tanner. Okay, so I, you guys know that I use the Sun Laboratories on my face. This is Sun Laboratory self-tanner in the color dark, and I use it on my face only because it does tend to get a little bit blotchy or orangey, so it doesn't work on my body. It only really works on my upper body, face, neck, and chest. Um, as soon as I get down on my legs, I start to get patchiness, which I don't like. 
So I only use the Sun Labs on my face. When I want to do my entire body, like really bronze it out, I always use my Amber Sun by Norvell. And um, I have it in the self-tanning mousse, and then I have the self-tanning spray. And I like them both e um, equally. The mousse is definitely a lot um, cleaner and easier to use than the spray because the spray kind of gets everywhere. You either need to do it in a shower or you need to do it outside because it does make a mess. Um, but as far as coloration, this isn't going to make you orange. This is going to make you truly like you went to the Caribbean, bronzed, gorgeous. I love it. I can't get over like how nice these are. These are the ones that are used by celebrities. I know the Kardashians have used these in photo shoots. So again, it's the Amber Sun by Norvell. They're just this is fabulous. I can't wait to use these this winter when I start to get really scary pale because great self tanner. My favorite lotion for this year was my Mary Kay Satin Hands, and I really love the one in peach. And this is still in its packaging because this is a brand new one I bought. Um, I have a little sample that I'm still going through right now. But this smells like my all-time favorite candy, peach gummy rings. So I love it. It's not greasy. It makes my hands feel so soft, and I love that in the wintertime. So this has definitely been my favorite lotion. And then my all-time favorite beauty buy for 2010 that I'm so hooked on that has like been life altering is definitely my handmade goat milk stuffed soaps. Okay, I have completely switched off of drugstore soaps. I won't use Dove, Dial, none of those, okay? Don't even try to touch me with the drugstore soap. I am so in love with goat milk stuffed soaps. They are fabulous, and the Jonas family, they're just so close to my heart. I've gotten really close to them, and I think that um, PJ and Jim and all their children are just so precious, and they've really come a long way. Um, I remember when I did my first review on their family, and it was the first video that anyone ever did on their company, and they have just exploded since then. I've seen so many more reviews. They have this awesome new website. They're making their own videos. I'm just really, really happy for them. So if you haven't checked out goat milk stuff, definitely go and do it. I definitely have my favorites from them. They all come in these little linen bags. And my favorite is definitely pink sugary, which is the one I'm showing you right now. And it is like a cocoa brown bar, as you can see. It is the best smell ever. I wish I could explain to you guys what it smells like. It smells like pink sugar. It's so sweet, but it also is really clean. It's like rich chocolatey divine it's everything you would ever want in soap very feminine and so i love this my husband loves goat milk stuff soaps he his favorite is the nautical which is another one of my favorites it's a very clean manly scent and um so my favorites if you're interested in ordering are definitely pink sugar nautical cider press oatmeal milk and honey and cranberry spice those are my all-time top favorites especially for this time of year and um, so I have just been <laughs> in love with goat milk stuff. I can't stop talking about them because they're so great. So definitely check out goat milk stuff soaps if you haven't. So those are my best beauty buys of 2010. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be having a best hair products of 2010 coming up because I don't want to like bombard you guys with too much information. So stay tuned for that video. And thank you guys so much for all of these recommendations. A lot of these products were recommended to me by other beauty gurus or by my viewers. And so I really appreciate that. And I definitely appreciate you guys watching this video. So I'll see you next time. Bye.